We're joined again on Flow FM by the Assistant Treasurer, Stephen Jones. Stephen, last time we talked about scams, we're always on the lookout for those, but uh, someone who's not a scam is the global ratings agencies who've given Australia, our economy, a clean bill of health. Yeah, good news. It means that uh, our you know, guarded optimism for the year ahead is shared by some of the global rating agencies, in fact, most of the global rating agencies, we know households are doing it tough with uh, inflation still unacceptably high. But the good news is unemployment is low. Um, people can find work and if uh, they're not happy with the job they've got, there's uh, plenty of alternatives out there. So that's good news. Employers still looking to put on staff and still looking to invest in, in new business. So um, you know, the outlook, the future outlook is is good, not without some... you know. Um, some bumps in the road ahead. The war in Ukraine is still keeping prices of energy high um, and you know, very uncertain global circumstances. But you know, I'm cautiously optimistic about the path through. And everyone's relying on the data they've got before them, but I'm encouraged to see them saying our economy will likely avoid recession and in fact expand over the next three years. Uh, given the outlook for the rest of the world, that's pretty positive news as well. Very positive news. Um, the world still wants to pay high prices for the things that Australia is selling, our commodities, whether it's stuff we grow or the, our resources. Um, there's still hot demand for that um, and very strong labour market. Uh, people are in job. Most of the businesses I talk to, their biggest problem is that they can't get the staff that they need. So um, that's good news for workers who are trying to get a job or trying to get a new job. Um, of course, inflation is the big dragon we've got to tame this year, and that's why so much of our efforts as we plan details for the May budget is around how we can provide some targeted a cost of living relief but ensure we don't blow the economy up through um, you know, working in the opposite direction to the Reserve Bank. Well, they recognised expenditure restraint as one thing the government's doing. They would have had a very forensic look at your federal budget from last uh, November. Uh, so I guess that's an endorsement, is it, of the government's current economic settings and policies? Look, it's no time for us to be patting ourselves on the back because there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, but we're pleased that the things we've done in the first seven months are getting a tick of approval um, by the global ratings agencies, but of course the ones that matter the most are you know, the people here in Australia. Um, they're the ones we serve and they're the ones who support we need to do the work that we've got ahead of us. Um, so you know, whether it's ensuring we're setting ourselves up for the future through investment in technology, uh, the energy transition, new infrastructure, new skills, um, or whether we're putting in place stuff like our, our childcare and aged care plans, there's so much to be done. Um, but, you know, we that's what we're elected to do, Ricky. And you mentioned the Reserve Bank just before uh, their meeting next Tuesday, their first meeting of the year. Most expectations, given the ABS's inflation data, that uh, rates will rise again. Uh, is there a concern about the direction we're heading with interest rate increases? Any rise in interest rates is a concern because we know the impact it has on households and businesses. We also know that a hell of a lot of households with mortgages haven't yet felt the impact of what's already been a significant increase in those reserve bank rates because they're on fixed rate uh, uh, mortgages that uh, don't roll off until sometime uh, around mid-year. So we know that there is a bit of a crunch coming, which is all the more reason why we've got to look in every corner for uh, relief and support for Australian households who are doing it tough. Well, it's a busy time for you with all those pre-budget submissions coming in. Stephen Jones, Assistant Treasurer, thanks so much for joining us today on Flow. Good to be with you, Rick.